<clears throat> Hello, Sagittarius. This is your reading for the 15th through the 16th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. We have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Scorpio just got this card too. And then we have you deserve love. You are lovable. This one as well. Huh. I am shuffling. You guys hear me. Let's see. And then getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what Tarot has to say to tie these messages in for you guys. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. What's going on for Sagittarius? Hmm. Let's see, the Five of Swords. Maybe, um, you know, you guys have experienced a lot of conflict, a lot of arguing. Um, in your relationship and possibly, you know, in your family life when you were younger even. Um, maybe you, you've seen your parents not getting along so well. Here. Let's see. Ace of Swords. I think a lot of you are trying just to do just that. To heal your issues. Um, you know, just... Not allowing anyone to get up under your skin. Not allowing anyone to draw you into um, conflict and arguments. And, you know, you, you're just really wanting to just, just be in this calmer state of mind, I'm feeling here. Okay? And I think there's a lot that you are learning, not only about yourselves, but um, about other people and how they may react to um, things that they have gone through even, you know? Maybe that certain issues that, that come up may not even have anything to do with you. This may be something that, you know, this individual has dealt with for, you know, the entirety of their life here. We have the Page of Wands. Hmm. I think there is definitely someone that um, is interested in you guys. I think there's something that... Uh, this person possibly wants to to say to you to reveal to you or this is something that you guys you you're actually interested in someone and you want to reveal something to this person okay we have Aquarius here um, Aries energy I feel Piscean energy maybe then we have a star hmm What I'm getting from this is that there is somebody that's very special to you and you to them. But there is someone I feel like has an influence over, over you. Um, and, and not a familial influence. I'm thinking this is somebody, there's somebody that you guys have encountered that has initiated some healing in you. Um, when you meet people sometimes, especially if it's one particular person that has this like dramatic impact on your life, and while you're with this person, you may not necessarily feel the impact, but it's actually when you guys separate that that you feel this impact to um, or this drive to to want to change certain things or look at certain things in your life. There's somebody that you guys, I feel like, have encountered that has initiated this drive in you guys. Um, strong Aquarius individual here for you guys, okay? But I, I feel like this, this person is somebody that you do feel very connected to. You feel like maybe um, this person is your person. And I think that there's some there's something that you want to discuss, or they they have something to discuss with you. Okay. There, there's a level of intimidation here, though, not being sure of oneself with this page of wands. It's very immature energy. So um, there's not 
there's there's not a lot of action being taken definitely an interest in action being taken for sure okay um hmm somebody definitely wants to be involved in a relationship with you guys um trying to manifest something here with you i feel Whereas they were probably were very argumentative with you before and um, bucking against everything. I feel like this person now wants to share with you um, everything. They want to share their time with you. Um, they want to share the truth with you. They want to um, just talk with you. Let you in. Okay. It's what I'm getting from this. And you guys as well is what I'm feeling. Somebody is definitely wanting to basically get to know you, okay? Get to know the real you, and um, you guys get to know each other. Most definitely wanting to be successful um, with you guys, wanting victory over the situation. Definitely wanting to come out of conflict, okay? And look at this. I almost said shit. And I just did, didn't I? Look. If this has ever come up before, when the hermit comes up, the hermit, of course, is looking for the path. They're looking for um, the direction in life that they they are supposed to go in. Their, their drive is to find out where they're supposed to be, their destiny, the star. Look at this. I love it. I love it when these cards come out like this. Could be a Virgo individual you guys are dealing with this wheel. Virgo, Taurus, Leo. Um, but I feel like this person definitely, um, you guys want to come out of conflict. They want to come out of conflict. Somebody's looking for, both of you guys, are, I feel like you're looking for each other, honestly and truly. Mm hmm whoever this is that you guys have had such conflict with um, maybe lots of arguments um, lots of fighting people leaving coming back um, that sort of thing mm, this person is um, they're wanting to come out of conflict with you guys for sure and they're taking some time out to kind of reflect and um, over things that have happened between the two of you this person I don't feel like will revisit these situations where you guys were fighting all of the time or leaving back and forth in and out that type of energy okay the hermit does not want to revisit that the hermit only wants to keep going forward using the past um, situations and circumstances to kind of map their way so they don't repeat those cycles or those same steps that brought them unhappiness no they're all about finding their path where they're meant to go going there and not looking back okay that's what they're about Aquarius Virgo Ooh, I put those wrong sorry Aquarius, Virgo, Leo, Gemini, maybe, um, Taurus energy, Aries, Pisces is here. Okay. So let's see what else we got here. Did I put these? I think I did put those in the wrong place. Again, just like that. Damn G. <laughs> Shoot. All right. Let's see. Oh. Uh-huh. Somebody definitely has been dealing with their fears. Um, facing their fears. Changing things that they don't like about themselves. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that shit. Where strength shows up, the devil is near. Look at that. Facing. Facing the fears. Somebody is, somebody's really been doing some work here. Whether it's you or the other person, Leo Capricorn, I feel like somebody's really, really doing some work here. Working on themselves. Hmm. 
whether it's you or the other person, wanting to come back, wanting to tell some truth, speak some truth, interested in just like, you know, let's, let's just do this thing. Let's do this thing. Let's get to know each other. Let's heal each other. That sort of energy. Hmm. Letting down the ego. Addressing the ego. Here. But there's somebody here that's in denial. There's somebody here that's in denial. I feel like whoever the hermit is. The person that's been a recluse, the person that is actively looking for their person, they are facing their ego, facing it head on. Because all these sores are our thoughts. What somebody has done to me. Oh, whoa, well, it's me. You know, that sort of thing. The hermit is looking at all of those things, um, not just in someone else, but within themselves. But this two of swords person, they're not wanting to see. They're not decisive. They're not knowing what to really do. So there's like a stalemate in this situation where one person is facing, um, facing their fears, facing their ego, like, and the other person is not, not doing anything, not doing anything at all. Okay, so. One person's willing to work on this. One person is definitely addressing some issues within their life. Um, you know, things that they feel like are bringing them down, um, bringing their vibration down. But the other person, I feel like, um, is definitely in denial. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. And um, I'll be speaking with you soon.